This video is a joint initiative of CHEP, a leading equipment pooling systems enterprise, Blitz Logistics Training Center, and ECR Belgium, an organization that brings together producers and distributors with the aim of optimizing the supply chain and so improving service to consumers. In your job, you handle pallets every day. In this film, you'll see how pallets become damaged and learn what you can do to help avoid the so-called pallet killers. Pallets may not seem important, but they are in fact a vital working tool. Never say, oh well, it's only a pallet. Using good pallets is important for your own safety and that of your colleagues. Accidents happen quickly and can be quite serious. The condition of the products is also affected by the quality of the pallets. Damaged pallets often become deformed and no longer fit the warehouse racks. By using only good pallets, you ensure that workflows are not interrupted. This is certainly the case in automated lines where the slightest defect can cause huge problems. A strong pallet will cost your company on average 8 to 10 euro. So by reducing pallet damage, you're also controlling costs. In the following sections, you'll see how pallets become damaged. First, let's look at a few examples of wrong applications. In this case, the pallets are good quality, but are used in the wrong way. Avoid overloading pallets at one particular point. Pallets can bear heavy loads, but if you put all the weight on one point, they'll break. Always use a method of transport that suits the pallet. Don't handle a double deck pallet with a pallet truck. Take into account the type of rack you're working with. Pallets have to be the right size. Make sure you have enough room for maneuver. Alleyways and loading areas mustn't be too narrow. Disposable pallets are not designed to be used time and time again and never overload them. You can't always prevent the bad practices you may see in your company, but you too have a role. Let your boss know about problems so that together you can overcome the pallet killers. But pallets are mainly damaged by mishandling. This is often a question of discipline and respect, or rather lack of it. Never let pallets fall. Don't handle them roughly or throw them around. Don't leave them lying around and try not to bump into them when they're lying in your way. Don't drag them over the ground. You wear the wood away and the slightest unevenness can damage the pallet 
or even break it. Avoid using them for things for which they're not designed. This can cause damage or even make them unusable. You can easily avoid this kind of damage. A little discipline and respect can help you do a better job. Don't think that everything has to be done at full speed. Quality and safety are important. But in the end, it's all down to professionalism. If you're well trained and concerned about quality, then you can avoid a whole lot of damage. If you push the pallets with your forks to put them in the right position, you'll definitely have problems. Certainly if the load is too heavy or if the ground is uneven. If you drive your forks too quickly into the pallets, there's a good chance you'll damage or break the first upper deck plank. By not inserting the forks correctly, for example if they're tilted upwards or downwards, you can easily damage the pallet and the forks. The pallets will slide and fall between warehouse racks or whole stacks can fall. When you pick up pallets, always make sure that the distance between the forks is not too small. The pallets can easily fall, especially when you turn a corner. The forks must also not be too wide apart. This pushes the blocks out and whole pallets can collapse. Avoid lifting pallets with just the tips of the forks. It results in overload on the first upper deck plank and strains the metal in the forks. If the forks are too short, or if you don't take the pallet deep enough, it begins to dance and can tip forwards. It's also possible that the forks are too long. In this case, you must make sure not to damage the load or pallets behind. you must completely clear the pallet's position before you turn the forklift truck. Center the pallet well before you insert the forks. The forklift must stand squarely before the pallet before you pick it up. Remember to adapt the lift height before driving on or off slopes. Always take enough time to check the position of the forks before you slot them into the pallets. Before you put the pallet down, you must check that there are no pieces of stone or wood lying around and that the floor is even. When using a reach truck, try not to forget to reach out when you go into the positioning area. And you must lift the pallets high enough before you reach back. Don't forget to reach out when you set a pallet on the ground. With wing pallets or even pallets with just a small overhang, you must always be on the lookout for contact with other pallets when you set down and pick up. When you're working in confined areas, you must adapt your speed. With big four-wheel drive trucks, the wheels often stand proud of the bodywork, which means you could bump into pallets without noticing.
Use a pallet hook rather than the fork tips to line up pallets that are stacked on top of each other. Never stack pallets higher than the mast profile. You run the risk that they'll fall, especially if you need to make an emergency stop. Always drive carefully when you're carrying a load. Pallets can fall when you're driving forwards and must suddenly stop. Always be careful when working with stacks. Or would you rather the whole stack falls? Do not mix different types of pallet. This way you get unstable stacks. If you're using special appliances, please take account of the following. Don't use the side shifter if the pallet is on the ground. Don't use the fork width adjuster as a press. With multiple forks, you must insert the forks at their full width. Never leave a space between the pallets with multiple forks. Be aware that plastic pallets move very easily. Extra care is needed in every situation. Lifting them, setting them down, on the forks and on the ground. So, those were the pallet killers. Now you know all about them. Try to avoid them everywhere at any time. Let's all make sure that the pallet killers are only to be seen in this film and not in your company. And finally, a few general safety tips. Always wear gloves and safety shoes when you're handling pallets. Always make sure you lift the pallets in a safe way and preferably don't do it alone but with the help of a colleague. Please don't set pallets on their side. They can tip over and injure someone. Never accept defective pallets from suppliers or transporters. Avoid leaving broken blocks and planks from pallets behind on the transport route. This can be extremely dangerous. In the worst case, the truck can tip over, wheels can lock, and solid wheels could shear off. If damage occurs and you have to repair pallets, don't use ordinary nails, but screws or twisted nails, or even better, have them repaired by professionals. The best thing, of course, is not to let it get to this. Try not to be a pallet killer. Pallets are expensive and breakable. A professional is concerned with quality and safety. And you certainly are a professional. Sure,